Everybody gets the watch list with J.R. Jackson. It is me, your friend, your buddy, your family, J.R. Jackson. Uh, I'm here with the watches. We are gonna break down the videos that drive the news and the views of the day, every day when it comes to news, politics, society, culture, you know, a little bit of sports because that is still in me. You guys haven't gotten rid of it. It's, it's, it's still there, it's still there. Listen, you guys, I'm extraordinarily excited. I'm happy to be here. I almost don't know what to say. The good news about that is, is I brought on someone that can say a lot and he can say a lot for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> the CEO and host of the Young Turks, founder of the TYT Network, Jake Uger joins me. What's going on, brother? How you doing, JR? I'm super excited to be on your on JR's show. How awesome is that? Crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, right, JR, you mentioned a little bit of sports. In the category of chit chat for one second. KC Denver, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's huh? already funny. You, you KC Buffalo, you still got Denver on your mind. I know, right? KC Buffalo, greatest game of all time, yes or no? Well, I don't know. I'm a little biased because the previous game was better, the Rams and Bucks. <laughs> even though we almost threw it away, just saying, just saying. But it ended well. No, that, that game was ridiculous. If there was one second left on the clock, Buffalo would have won. That's all. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, let's do that's this. just how it is. So um, that's enough of that today. But we will we will revisit when uh, when, when things uh, when things push us in that direction. Uh, but I'm glad you joined me today, everyone. Please like, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear from you. We're going to speak to you guys as usual. With that being said, let's just get started. Come on, guys. Joe Biden is what stands between us. And a nuclear capable China. Joe Biden is the guy they're going to call at three in the morning. If there's a serious crisis with Russia. That's former one term first son Donald Trump Jr. ranting about the Bidens again, specifically Joe Biden in this situation. Um, I'm not sure why, but there could be many reasons. Some of them surrounding New York Attorney General Letitia James, who is coming down hard on the Trumps and their inflation of assets from real estate to golf clubs, anything else in between. Um, but he's stressed out and you can maybe tell he looks a little bit tipsy there. Now, if you're wondering if he's done this before, he has. This is in June of last year. You'd be like, uh, I don't think Joe's smart enough to be like, hey, let's send them off the trail. Uh, don't hack the McDonald's on DC. I mean, why doesn't he just give Putin like, I don't know, the keys to the nuclear football? Let's, what's the list? Don't hack one, Joe's basement. Two, Hunter's businesses. Three, Hunter's laptop. 10% for the big guy. Four, don't hack that. Uh, what's going on? That's the first question that I agree. What is going on? Um, now, wait a second, I heard something about McDonald's. One more time, McDonald's, I'm hungry this morning. Let's listen. Uh, don't hack the McDonald's on DC. I mean, it's wrong. You should not laugh at uh, people that potentially have an addiction issue. This is a serious uh, problem, actually. Um, but luckily, we've been let off the hook. There's one guy who, who's definitely an expert on this entire thing with addiction. And he says it's okay. One more time, let's listen. What do you think the media reaction would be to Don Jr. smoking Parmesan cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, it wouldn't be what we saw from the media, right? It'd be a little different. And then I say that and they say, oh, you're making fun of people with addiction. I go, let's just talk about this for a second. I totally understand addiction, it's terrible. We all know people that have suffered from it. It doesn't absolve you from being a total piece of garbage in every other aspect of your life. It doesn't absolve you from selling access to the highest power levels of government. It doesn't absolve you from selling out your country. It doesn't absolve you from, I don't know, child support from the stripper you knocked up a couple years ago, right? There's so much irony in that last statement that he used at CPAC, I, I, I'm not sure where to start. Um, but we might as well start with the whole selling your country out, maybe that. Or the knocking up a stripper, 
it sounds like your dad. All these things that they don't see the irony behind what they're saying. And as they're attacking other folks for addiction issues, as he continues to go online, be inebriated in whatever way he is, be it drunkenly or any kind of drugs, he keeps doing it, but he keeps thinking that someone else is the problem, Jenk. I'm maybe someone needs to come in and take the phone away. There needs to be a point when someone says, "Hey, calm down," and maybe deal with their issues off on the side. Yeah, it, the guy's a walking projection. Almost everything he says about the Bidens is exactly what could be applied to himself and his dad. Uh, although I have no idea what smoking Parmesan cheese means. <laughs> like literally, have no idea. I've never heard that before. I don't know what's going on at the McDonald's in Washington, <laughs> but now I kind of want to find out. Um, but it, Jr., I have a confession. My confession is that I'm a little naive about this stuff. And so since I can't imagine being drunk on air or a guy on coke or any of this madness, I usually assume like, nah, they're not really drunk. We're just like, maybe they sound drunk, but you know, like, and Jr., we've been doing this for a long time, right? So. You can see how 20 seconds could be taken out of context. So I had a little like naivete to that. But that last clip, which was the first one that you played, last uh-huh. in terms of time, but first one that we played for you guys, put that all away for me. No, no, that guy is either drunk as he could possibly be or as high as he could possibly be. I I know when I'm in that state, the pauses, it's the pauses. Uh, Joe Biden, <laughs> I mean, like he's doing Biden. his dad's China, but I think that Joe Biden is specific to Don Jr. And I'll give him credit for trademarking that one. No, he's definitely got issues. <laughs> now it's open and shut. Well, yeah, but then the thing is, what do you, what are they going to do about it? Because look, everyone's pointed out, and it turns into, a, oh, you have a Trump derangement syndrome. And sure, again, and I did mean it when it comes as far as making fun of people with addiction issues. The thing is, is they constantly do the things that they say that others shouldn't do. Again, selling your country out or, 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 or honestly disrespecting women and talking about how he went through this whole process. They, I'm not sure how after Donald Trump was about to get in office, we had to grab him by the P word and then all of the scandals that came out. And then the locker room talk defenses, I think they just don't care. It doesn't really matter for their supporters whether or not they look a certain way, act a certain way and then say, hey, I'm above all of this. There's nothing that can really snap people out of it because they found a way to get people's identity to be connected to them. It has nothing to do with anything else. No ideology, no policy, nothing, no agenda, nothing about what's coming up in the next election cycle. Just can you believe with Biden and McDonald's? Why does that mean someone should vote for you? This is where we are and this is why our policies are nowhere because we don't have any, we're not pushing any. And for one party that does push a few of them and doesn't follow through on them, we're left with one that says F you and other says, uh, F you, <laughs> that's the only difference we have now. Yeah, so my last thought on this, look, you're absolutely right. Nobody's talking about $15 minimum wage or healthcare for you or child tax credit for your families, etc. And they're almost there as it is right now. But but Don Jr. could be identical to Hunter Biden. He could go on the board of a Ukrainian gas company, okay? And have a laptop with the same exact pictures and Republican voters will not care at all, not 1%. And they'll say, "Oh no, that's totally fine because it's not Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> so their whole reason for existence now is to hate us. So you can't cure that. We just have to figure out how to get past it politically. Well, we're gonna work on that. And they're working on actually making sure they don't get by these things politically.